Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a little cheeky glow up for you because I'm going back to school tomorrow and I just need to revitalise, okay? So I'll be doing my eyebrows, my cutting my hair, cutting my hair, I know. I don't want to play my face. I do my nails, so hopefully you enjoy. If you do, please like and subscribe. And yeah, let's just get into it. Let's stop up. First things first, popped out the shower at LAX. And now I need to fix this. This is my hair wet wet. This is my hair wet wet. Why did it say wet? Usually when I've had it in a towel, it's sort of dried, but... No need to have a riot. Okay, so this is what I use. That is scary. My heart's going pitter patter, pitter patter. This is what I use. I don't know if this works, to be honest. I haven't seen a noticeable difference, so... Maybe you could say it doesn't work. But it's still pretty good. It doesn't work, but it's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so while my hair is drying, I think I'm going to start on my acrylics. So the first step of a globe, I don't know if it's just, oh. Can we just not talk about this? Because I haven't faked tan, yet I still managed to get like a fake tan, like really, really dark. So just don't, let's just forget about that, okay? I don't know about me, about, I don't know about anyone else, but when my nails look like this, that's fake tan too, it's not like... You know, when my nails look like this, I'm just not a confident bitch. I need long acrylics and for back to school, I need my nails on because I just need to feel confident. I'm feeling a bit nervous. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I bought these new gels and it's just white and black. I think I'm going to go black like my soul. So yeah, I'm obviously not going to show you how I do them. I do have a full like acrylic nail tutorial for beginners on my channel. So I'll leave that down below because it's actually quite a good video if you ask me. Um, hashtag self promo. But that's what I'm going to start by doing. So I'm just going to chat with you for a bit while I'm pushing my cuticles back because why not? It's a free world. So if you didn't know already, the UK have been in a national lockdown since December now and it's now March 4th and it's nearly a year since I left year 11 because of Covid so Bojo come on what are you doing? So, however now on Monday so in a day's time I'm going back to school and I am so nervous like I don't know why I've just had so much time to overthink you know when you just have time to think you're like oh my god everyone hates me so now I think that I'm going back to a class of people that hate me even though no one's indicated any form of hate but thank god we're going back because i don't know about anyone else but i miss school so much like i just love it okay that's a bit excessive i <laughs> love school but for it to what i'm doing right now which is at home doing online lessons which oh, i can't stand and i've actually had a glow down since i've been off and i just like feel really ugly so i'm actually praying that this glow up is actually gonna help me because my confidence rock bottom Lowest it's ever been, but maybe it's because I'm off Accutane, I have been for six months, and I'm getting spots again. Ah! I'm so scared, but let's not talk about it because I will cry. Is it just me or, like, before you go back to school after a long period being off, you need, like, five to seven working days just to prepare, like, just to pamper and stuff. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel, oh, oh, I haven't done my nails in six months, not six months, six weeks, and that's what happens. Oh my god, maybe talking and doing this isn't a good idea. Okay, it's literally four hours later. Like, it's literally two o'clock. And I've just finished doing the actual acrylics. And I think I'm going to paint later because I need lunch. I'm hungry. And then, what are we going to do next? Oh, I don't know. Okay, so it's three o'clock now. So I've literally been doing my nails for... Started at half ten. So, you do the math. But, ugh, I am fake tan in before school, so this won't be obvious. But these are them. So, I just went with, like, a nice black shine. I was going to go matte, but then I thought, no, black, uh, shiny. And I just think they're so cool. Like, I just love black nails. I just think they are the chic, not chic, 
sleekest things you can go for. And I just, back to school, you know, eh. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is dyeing my eyebrows because, bitch, where, where are they? I don't know where my eyebrow brush is, but these are what I use. I just use the Eyelaw, like, dye set. I'm going to go find a brush. I can't find an eyebrow brush. This is so tragic. Oh, <gasps> lol. It was in the same drawer. Lol, lol. I'm so weird, sorry. I'm so quirky. <laughs> um, I'm literally, I don't know why I'm acting. <laughs> Hope no one heard that. I don't know why acting is so annoying. Also, I'm watching, what's it called? Ginny and Georgia. Oh my god, it's so good. So if you haven't watched that on Netflix, I actually really recommend. Because I didn't watch it because I thought it'd be like, I always do this. I always think it'll be really cringy like Netflix originals. And it is cringy Netflix originals. But it's also tray enjoyable. It's like one of the most, it's not realistic, but it's one of the most like realistically portrayed teenage things I've watched. Because you know when you watch a show and it's like, they're just so out of touch with what teenagers are like and it's still out of touch like don't get me wrong but it's a lot better than most shows so okay so i'm just gonna give them a brush to be honest i usually leave them a bit longer but i might do them now because they always go too dark and then hopefully by tomorrow they will have faded and I'm not going to leave them on as long as I usually do because they always go too dark and then I'm like stuck with a black eyebrow so I know a lot of people do this with beard dye but I'm low-key blind like I don't know what contacts in so I'm like okay that looks like a cute shape I just need to fix the front bit okay so that's one eyebrow obviously I want the front so it's not as blocky nearer the time but for now this is what it looks like next eyebrow and I always have the problem that my eyebrows I'm not the same shape at all. Oh, see, like, look how different they look. Okay, that's the best I can do. Wow. What? <sighs> My eyebrows are really close together. Like, really close together. Mm. I get the ick when I look at myself with this on. Like, for real. Can you get the ick about yourself? Because I do. You know who I look like? This guy. And I got, like, little rat eyes when I don't have mascara on. So, like, I'm gonna start complaining about the way I look. Part of my globe is being nice to myself. You're beautiful. There you go. So, how's everyone doing? How's life for everyone else? Is everyone excited about, about school? Or is that just a me thing? I think that's just a me thing. Well, actually, I don't know. It depends. I feel like it depends if you're. Sorry, I was just looking at my nails. Depends if you're an extrovert or an introvert. Okay, what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna go and play my face, basically, like shave my face. I'm going to face mask, fake tan. I might give my hair a little trim if I'm feeling confident. Okay, these are my eyebrows. Oh, this one's actually darker. Usually this one's darker. This one's kind of orange. I think that when I fake tan, which I, I've tanned my face every night with like a tan moisturizer, so it just keeps that like kind of half tan look. And when I fake tan, it turns my eyebrows a bit like green. And now is the worst bit, which is plucking. I never find the middle bit hard. It's underneath when it gets like <laughs> painful. <laughs> I'm literally too dramatic to do this, honestly. Does anyone even get their eyebrows done anymore? I forgot what it was like to even get my eyebrows done. I'm not gonna make you sit through this. <laughs> okay, you might not be able to tell, but these are the finished eyebrows. Obviously they're red, but I'm actually really happy with the shape. Not that you can tell without them being filled in, but from real life, like, they look pretty good if you ask me. Hello, so it is, oh, I'm going to derm plane my face. So basically, you take one of these razors and you just get rid of all the, I don't know if you can see in this light, but you basically just get rid of, oh my god, that fake tan looks disgusting. You basically get rid of all the peach fuzz. Um, I don't know how this is going to go because I have got some pretty aggressive spots so i don't know whether you go i'm so loud um i don't know whether you go around that or you just hope for the best but let's just give it a shot okay so i'm guessing i have done this before did anything come off usually like hair comes off 
Why isn't it working? I guess we'll never know. Okay, this feels like it's doing something. Does it look any, oh, excuse you. Does it look any different apart from red? Why don't we just use normal razors when we do this? If anybody knows like, why we have to use. I'll come back when my face is red. Okay, so I'm done doing it, as you can tell. My face feels really smooth and it's loads of, oh, loads of different people say loads of different things what you should do after. But I read that you should splash your face with cold water. So I'm going to do that and then I think I'm going to put a face mask on. I don't know if that's right, but I feel like it would really penetrate the skin. So I'm going to go splash my face. So I've got this plumping lip, lip, lip mask, which my lips are already really big, as you can tell. And then a vitamin C, uh, radiance and watermelons. I'm going to use watermelon, I think. What even else can I do to glow up when I look like this? Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm concerned that I'm nearing the end of the video and I look worse than how I started. We're not going to dwell on it because inside, I know I will have done my best to look better, okay? When I've got a fresh layer of tan on, I'll be sorted. Although, I have got to edit this video and upload it. So you might not actually get to see me fake tan, I know. Uh, I know you all want to know, Izzy, how you do fake tan? Like, it's pink. Stop it. This is so fun. What do we do now? Should we have a think of what I'm going to wear on my first day back? PCA? Maybe we're feeling Argyle. Are we? With a, with a plain black skirt, this one. Or even we could go leather, but I think leather and Argyle is kind of a clash. But I'm thinking actually this skirt, which is my favourite. Black tights and then maybe maybe a white high neck, like a roll neck. Yeah, that could be cute actually. So I think I'm actually going to cut my hair. So I'm going to take my mask off. And then, except it's like a bit curly, so I don't know. Will it be all uneven if I cut it now? Oh, okay, the last few things I'm going to do, I'm going to wet my teeth tomorrow. So that I sparkle, because look at them. We're not feeling them. And right, let's, let's evaluate. Come on. Okay, Hagrid. Wow. Let's start with the fringe because it needs a little trim. I mean, fringe. Okay, let's just do this bit first. Let's just do like the hairdressery thing and just. I'm gonna make it a bit thicker, I think. <gasps> I just got so much off. Oh no. Okay, let's start by shortening this piece a bit. I feel like this side needs a bit more thickness. Oh, it looks like loads now, actually. This is why I can't ever cut my hair, I'm such a pussy. Like, <laughs> okay, should we do the whole bar, mate? Okay, that was quite good. Now let's take the... Is this how you cut hair? Like, I feel like it's not. Actually, what I'm doing, why am I doing this? <gasps> I've actually gone way shorter. I know. My first mistake was doing this when it was curly. Okay, I'm done. Which side is longer? This side's still a bit long. Oh my god. It's all even. So that is the end of the video. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe and yeah, bye!